Islam Makachev submits Dustin Poirier in the fifth round with two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. This is just a quick little reaction video for you guys of last night's fight. Um, I, I mean, it, first of all, I just want to say it was a it was a good ass fight. It was a 155 title fight, and it did not disappoint. That that's how I can describe this fight. And and before people start, you know, laughing at me or, or trying to talk some shit, bro, I, I'm a fan of the game. Like I'm a fan of the sport. I'm a fan of of you know MMA. I'm a fan of you know. So I, I'm just happy and excited when we get bangers like that. And I didn't think it was going to be that good of a fight. I was, thought it was going to be a little bit more one-sided on Islam's fight or Islam's side. But the fact that we got a good fight, Dustin Poirier did a really, really good fight against Islam. And, and we just got a good fight, man. And I'm just happy to see that. And uh, that that's really how I felt after the fight. I knew, it, you know, it was pretty obvious Dustin lose. That hurt my feelings, breaks my heart. But I'm just like, damn. That was a good fucking fight. That was a good title defense by Islam. And, and it was just it was just good. And then people going to say, oh, you switched up, bro. I, I admire. I am a fan. I just appreciate greatness. That's it. You know, I, I hate on Islam. Yes. You know, I don't agree with everything he says. Yes. But last night he defended that title and he dug in deep to, to uh, defend that title. Because if it went to decision, we don't know what the we don't know who was going to win the title. We, we didn't know that fight was 50 50. I thought Islam was winning. But if Dustin Poirier would have won that round, we just don't know what would have happened. Right. So uh I, again very just very very happy um and, and and like i said i'm a fan of the sport i'm not here to be right i'm not here to be wrong i don't i don't give a shit about all that i, I just want to have a good time watching the fight um i was really upset with the sean strickland fight i'll make a whole video about that another day but like i, I was salty i was mad about that i was like sean you, you know try and get your title back that that performance was not it and, and the fact you know islam you know, did what he did. Dustin Poirier did his best to get the to get the belt, and it, it was just awesome, bro. It was just awesome. Of course, you know, it breaks my heart. Dustin Poirier, that was his third try uh, at the title. You know, he's been tapped every single time when uh, when he fights for the title, and it just sucks, bro. Like it sucks to see that from Dustin Poirier, and we just don't know if we're gonna see him fight again. Um, you know, last night I was like, you know, for Dustin Poirier, just be patient, just be patient. And uh, maybe he can be a backup if Armand and Islam go at it or, or and, and someone pulls out like we just don't know. Right. So I think, you know, Dustin Poirier waited out for the year. Just see how the division plays out. And um, if nothing comes up, then just walk away. Right. But, you know, Islam, like I said, I'm very hard on Islam. I'm very crit uh, critical on Islam. But this is what I wanted to see from Islam Makhachev. At 155, when you fight a different style, Dustin Poirier trained with Gamrot, bro, and and look, and they showed in the fight. And Islam was surprised. He he only got five takedowns out of like 12 or 15. Like Dustin did really really well. And Islam Magachev also did not get to rehydrate uh, as big as he does in Abu Dhabi. Like there was a lot of factors there for that were against Islam Magachev. The the weight size. Or, or the rehydration and then Dustin Poirier coming in pretty good, defending your takedowns pretty good, and, and you're getting touched up a bit. And uh, that that's just what I want to see, bro, because every fight's different. Every camp's different. We don't know. And that's and, and, and people talk about Islam like he's achieved everything at 155, bro. I'm like, no, bro, there's still people you got to beat. And I'm not saying like just stay at 155, but once you, you, know, you show and establish your dom dominance in the division, then, then you can talk about moving up, right? So what Islam did last night is been is exactly what I've been asking for. That's it. You know, against a 155, a good 155-er, and it's a 50-50 fight. We don't know. And in the fifth round, he seals the fucking deal to leave no doubts that he's the fucking champ, right? So that's just all I want to see. And, and, and then, like, not that I... I'm still going to be critical of Islam, you know, same thing, but that's just all I've been asking for. And I'm just like, now I can really like start to appreciate um, or or just like welcome, you know, Islam's greatness, you could say. Right. And and I'm just like, that's that's all I've been wanting to see, bro. Like you be Charles, you be Dustin, go be Armand Sarukian now. Like that's it. That, that's all I want. You know, and, and people going to say, well, who else can he fight or, or there's nothing else for him at 155. When you look at 170, bro. What is Islam going to do? Jump the line in front of Belil. Jump the line in front of uh, JDM. Jump the line uh, uh, over Shafkat. 
like we gotta think about that shit too bro you know and for islam i there's just no need for him to move up there's no he, he's not what once leon edwards either loses the belt or beats Belil Muhammad, Shafkat, and then, uh, you know, JDM. But for sure, Belil Muhammad and Shafkat, those people got to get their title shot before Islam. There's just no, there's no room for Islam just to jump the line. Because when you talk, like, is he, you know, how are you going to jump in front of Shafkat? How are you going to uh, in front of Belil? I know that fight's already arranged and everything, but you can't, you can't just jump the line in front of those guys. So, it's just not possible for him to move up. It, there's just not enough space. There's people waiting in line to the, for the title shot. Leon Edwards needs to take care of business. A monster rookie and be Charles Oliveira at UFC 300. That's that's how you need to be fighting. Max Holloway is another person possibly at 155. We don't know. But there's business to be done for Islam Makhachev at 155. I was very, very happy with his performance. That's all I've been asking for, bro. That's it. There's been He had to face adversity he got cut up he got they they stuffed to takedowns imagine how you know the armand fight would look how, how would the gamra fight would look like we just don't know different camps different weight cuts there's so many factors to one fight and uh i understand islam's perspective he wants two belts he wants to be a double champ he wants to be one of the best but i'm an islam Akachev. take your time bro dominate 155 and, and mark your stamp like he's the go at 155 and it's doable for islam but if he walks away from 155 now khabib's still going to be the number one guy at 155 you know islam has the opportunity to be literally one of the best if not the best at 155 like just keep establishing your dominance in the division and and defend your title like two more times bro two more times against armand and then whoever else pops up if no one pops up then i guess you can wake your make your way up to 170 but there's business to be taken care of for islam but again i'm just happy bro like i'm, I'm happy we got a good ass fight and and the haters can say all they want i don't know i had a good ass time watching that fight i'm happy you know that islam won the way he did it, of course it broke my heart seeing dustin Poirier lose like that and the fact that he almost had it was just so crushing bro it was so crushing and i was like fuck he was so close this close bro this close to get it done um you know, and, and, and I'm not like get done like he was going to win, but there was a small chance he could have won, bro. Like there was just a small chance. And, um, you know, both of them, I thought it was pretty interesting because Dustin Poirier said that he was too cautious with uh, the takedowns. And Islam said that he he wished he could have done more on the feet, but he was being a little bit too cautious there. And uh, last thing before I wrap this video up, you know, the way Islam you know does that he's kind of getting dom not dominating but he's getting a good run for his money and then he does that ankle whip and just throws dustin Poirier off balance and then just gets on him and gets that dark choke like that and then just taps out dustin and, and it was beautiful man and and like i said that's all i've been asking for yeah i'm a hater and stuff like that guys but i appreciate greatness i just do bro i love seeing that shit it's fire it's it motivates me and it just makes me happy to see somebody you know, win like that with swag, with style, and, you know, for Dustin Poirier, again, just, just heartbreaking, but uh, I was just happy as a fan to, to, to watch that good-ass fight, you know what I mean, and, and that's all, like, this is about, you know, I don't want to be right, I don't want to be wrong, I'm not going to shit on this person or that person for their opinion, I'm just here to, to watch UFC, have a good-ass time, eat some pizza, eat some chips, drink some beer, and enjoy the show, bro, and then talk about it, that's it, and give my predictions and, and my thoughts and feelings, and, and that's it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, that fight. I know the card itself wasn't the best. The co-main was not the best at all. And um, the main event did save the card, no question. And, uh, you know, Tuesday, I believe Tuesday uh, morning or afternoon, I'll have like a whole recap of UFC 302, talking about Dana White, talking about John Jones, shit like that. You know, we'll do that on Tuesday. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed UFC 302 and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.